Hello friends, we are going to learn ab about the Laplace transformation of any function or any periodic a periodic function. So as you can as you can see that this is periodic one, and you can also find or apply this method for any a periodic function also. So both for both periodic and a and a periodic, you can find Laplace. So what is the basic formula for that? You, for that you have to use 1 upon 1 minus e 1 upon e minus time period of that specific function, function into s and the Laplace of its first cycle okay this is a simple one you can derive it with geometric progression uh, also so as you can see here function is given to us so for our first cycle 0 to t and amplitude a we have equation y is equal to a sin omega t ok and as you can see is the function ranges between 0 to 0 and t so we will definitely use gate function as a parameter to multiply with this in order to find its Laplace and I have mentioned in my previous tutorial that any function which lies between 0 and t you will use gate function so finally our function will become ft a sine omega t so our gate function will be u t minus u t minus t because here time period is t so we are using capital T so multiply with this u t minus u t minus t ok now a sin sorry its equation with a sin omega t because it is in the perimeter of t and I have just used the capital T so make it small t u t minus u t minus t ok so Laplace it can be easily calculated sin omega t and its, lap, uh, its Laplace will be easily calculated but here's the we are, here we will face some problem u t minus t so we have to make this sign in terms of t minus t so what we can do its Laplace will be very easily so we will just first write it in this t domain now we can do this a sine omega we can add and subtract plus t ok now t minus t so we can write it as so first of all we have to express it sin omega t minus t cos omega t just applying the formula of sin a cos b and cos omega cos omega t minus capital T into sin omega t ok then multiply that function u t minus t ok and just copy it a sin omega t u t so now just copy this the u t and just multiply with this sin omega t minus capital T cos omega t u t minus capital T ok and similarly uh, here as you can see minus sign so it will be negative sin omega t cos omega t minus t u u t minus capital T ok so if we find the Laplace of this function here we can get a omega 
a square plus omega square for this you have to write it in uh, you have to write it in front so a cos omega t which is constant term so sin omega t minus t and u t minus t so laplace of sin omega t minus t in domain of t minus t it will be e to the power minus t s omega s square omega square for and it is constant term so a will be there i have left a so a cos sin omega t and it has cos t minus t u t minus t so in terms of minus t minus t domain e to the minus t s is laplace will be e to the minus t s it is cos so into s s square plus omega square at last you have to put the value of omega is equal to 2 pi or your t is equal to 2 pi upon omega so we put the value of sorry you cannot put 2 pi by omega because we have taken period from 0 to t and we assume that here you can just assume that it is t is equal to pi omega so assume pi omega and minus a cos omega 2 pi omega it will divide cos 2 pi equal to minus 1 so it get positive in and pi omega omega s square omega square and in this scenario we have sin omega pi upon omega which is oh I have mentioned two again a minus a cos omega into pi upon omega 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 cancel so it is cos pi cos pi is minus one and here we can see that sin pi is 0 so this whole term don't need to write it it is 0 ok so a omega s square omega square cos pi minus 1 so a omega e to the 1 minus omega s square omega square ok so you can write it as a omega s square omega square 1 plus e to the power minus e to the minus pi omega s ok I have forgotten to write s here e to the power minus t s it's it is e to the minus t s so value of t is here so ok so at last Laplace will be 1 upon 1 minus time period which is pi upon omega into s into the Laplace of first cycle which is a omega s square plus omega square plus 1 plus e to the minus pi omega into s actually this is the Laplace transformation of full wave rectifier because you are familiar with this type of graph it is for full wave rectifier i hope you like this video